Many believers are self-assured and confident of their salvation. They believe that they have a guarantee of salvation because they believe in Jesus Christ. Those who walk with Jesus and follow Him closely are not so confident because they know that moment by moment we must live up to His standard to be fit to enter into the Kingdom of Heaven. Those who walk close to Jesus, who follow Him, know that they must ask Him to evaluate them. They must ask Him to test them and to confirm them and to tell them whether He is pleased with their performance. The psalmist King David wrote in Psalm 139 verse 23, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, and know my anxious thoughts, and see if there be any hurtful way in me, and lead me in the everlasting way. We cannot be confident of ourselves. We need to continuously receive feedback from Jesus Christ, whether He is pleased with us, because He is the impartial judge. He does not take sides. He has one standard of righteousness and obedience, and we have to live up to His standard, because He will judge His people. We read the words of Peter in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17. He says, For it is time for judgment to begin with the household of God. And if it begins with us, what will be the outcome for those who do not obey the gospel of God? And if it is with difficulty that the righteous is saved, what will become of the godless man and the sinner? It is with difficulty that the righteous man will be saved. And that is why Peter says, and if it is with difficulty that the righteous is saved, what will become of the godless man and the sinner? We cannot make it into the kingdom of heaven without Jesus Christ. We cannot go by our own evaluation of ourselves. We must not compare ourselves with ourselves and with other Christians. We must ask Jesus Christ to test us, try us and evaluate us so that we can correct ourselves and do what is pleasing to Him. Jesus Christ is our advocate right now, but the moment that we die, he will become the judge. Right now we can ask Him to correct us, to test us, try us, evaluate us, discipline us. But once we die it's too late because then we stand before Him in judgment. As Jesus Christ also warned, I read from Matthew chapter 5 verse 25, Make friends quickly with your opponent at law while you are with him on the way, so that your opponent may not hand you over to the judge, and the judge to the officer, and you be thrown into prison. Jesus Christ will impartially judge all men. It is destined for man to die once and thereafter to face judgment. Right now, we have the opportunity to correct ourselves, to prepare and stay prepared. Right now, Jesus Christ is our advocate, but when we die, it will be too late. Humble yourself before Jesus Christ and ask Him to tell you how secure your salvation is whether He is pleased with you. Stay with Him until the very end, because it is only those who stay with Jesus 
until the end and do what is pleasing to him that will be fit to enter the kingdom of heaven. Make sure of your relationship with Jesus Christ right now while you have the opportunity. Tomorrow might be forever too late. May Jesus bless you.